welcome to another episode of Behind the Studs, your home improvement and remodeling podcast, where the two most entertaining guys discuss the do's and don'ts in home construction and in the remodeling industry. Remember that you can nail it, paint it, or just tune into the show. How about that? Uh, here are your hosts, Colin Shaw and Jimmy Driscoll. Welcome, everyone. Season three, episode three. Thanks for coming. Good yeah. night. <laughs> Already? I'm ready for bed. Jesus. I'm so tired today. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Up and Thank down the stair, <laughs> up and down the stair, up and down the stair, up and down the stair. I hurt my yeah. knee. I hurt my knee a couple weeks ago. Yep. And I just haven't really had a chance to rest it. And um, today I said, you know what? No brace. I oh. Was, no. It was a good thing. Really? Yeah. It was okay. getting too weak. Okay. And All actually right. it feels better that I had the brace off this today. Yep. Um, I was careful with it, but I'm just like, pfft. I'm freaking pooped. Yeah, well, I saw you carrying up that uh, that plank up the stairs. Yeah, dumb. Yeah, you got a young guy that was upstairs painting away. Dumb. Get him. I'm like the I'm like <laughs> I'm like I'm stuck because I gotta I gotta use my bad leg to go up the step. Right. <whistles> yeah. That was challenging. You know, what I felt like what I felt like Cuba Gooden Jr. Junior in that movie where the, he plays the um, he plays the scuba diver and he loses his leg. It's a true oh, story. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Walk, soldier. You know, try to walk on one leg. And I'm like, oh, walk, my God. If he can do it, I can do it. <laughs> uh, well, you did get it up there. I did. Yep, you did. I did. Now it's, so. time, it's, now it's time for bed. <laughs> you should have slept on the plank. Uh, nice. Nice. All right, so here we are. Here we are. Beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. Yeah, it actually turned out to be yeah, a nice, nice day. We got yep. sun out right now. We've yep. had a lot of rain over the past couple of days, which yep. is great. Yeah, I'm really hoping my lawn comes back. I don't know what yours looks like, but mine is toast. Mine's not too bad. Oh, mine's toast. No, I'm just letting it. I'm not cutting it. I'm just going to let it grow till we really get some. Like we've had rain. Yeah, yeah. Now you can sit back on your mower, walk the lawn. Yeah, That'd be you nice. know. Oh boy, Bobby cool. McDonough. Bobby I haven't McDonough. heard a word from him. Okay. Well, probably is because he hasn't seen me. But I'm waiting to hear if you know if I hurt his ego or anything, which I hope I didn't because oh. he's a freaking awesome dude. Yeah. Anybody, he's a great neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's, I know he's going to be, he's going to make sure when he starts out low more, he doesn't hit anything. Uh huh. He knows. It'll be on the show. It'll be on the show. Yep. Yeah. You got to get your uh, phone out and record it. Yeah. That'll I will. Fun. That'll be fun. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Bob. It would be better if it was like, if he was running it and, you, and all of a sudden he would hit, bang, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that would be great. That would be awesome. Son of a Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> that was my father. Uh, oh, yeah? My dad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always yelling, swearing. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, we had stocking Band-Aids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was accident-prone? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at times. Yeah. Yeah, he did some stuff. Did yeah. Some pretty funny stuff. That's funny. All right. Yeah, my father didn't do anything mechanical or... <laughs> Carpentry wise, he, he couldn't nail a bar of soap to a windowsill. Is that what you're no, telling me? No, right. no, 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 no. I think I probably told you this. Whenever there was something wrong with the car, he opened up the hood, took out a hammer, hit everything metal, <laughs> yes, and tried right. it again. <laughs> if it didn't start, <laughs> call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, All right, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Jesus, dude. That's that's what I learned from. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank God you don't go by that <laughs> premise. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's calling me to fix their car, so it's oh a my good God. thing. Yeah. I never learned about cars or motors or anything else. Really? No. Nope. Uh, I had no interest. In now that. it's totally over my head. Yeah, well, sure. Now it's totally over yeah, my you head. Need a computer you need a computer. Yeah. Yep. Satellite dish. You need a satellite, whatever. Yeah. It's like stupid. Yeah. We can almost, I can start my car with my phone now. Right? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. All so right. let's get into it. Let's get into it. What do you got? So I know we're doing the whole deck thing, which is just. Absolutely stupid mm-hmm. uh, with just with people calling to get the decks. Yeah. But the next thing is going to happen from about, I would have to say, oh, mid to end of August, we get people wanting now to um, take uh, walls out yes. inside in, in the interior of the house. Yep. And I was they just at one of put, those today. Yeah. Yep. Were, were you really? Yep. Put yep. beams in. Yep. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to ask you the questions, and you can do sure. the answering and stuff like that. Yep. So I know you and I both uh, will get calls to go in, and you know the homeowner will say, you know, I would really like to knock this wall down 
mm-hmm. and put in, you know, just to make it more spacious. It's usually from the kitchen, and then there's a wall, and there's a living room. Yep, yeah, that's um, the common one. It's the common one that yep. they want to do. Or in between the kitchen and the dining room. Right. Yep. Um, they say that, you know, it's just more space. Mm-hmm. And do you feel that a lot of the homeowners that you deal with really have no concept of how to take a wall out or what, what's involved in taking a wall wall down? Yeah, usually the first question I get when I get there is, is this load-bearing? Because people don't know. You, know, how, you ask it or they, they ask do. you? They do. That's the first thing that they ask when I walk in. So I know they, don't, they haven't really done a whole lot of research on it. Mm-hmm. They just want that wall gone, mm-hmm. and they want me to tell them how to do it. Mm-hmm. So then there's, you know, obviously, as you know, there's a ton of questions to ask after that um, and, you know, a lot of things to look at in the house to see how things were framed and, you know, what's sitting on top of what. Uh, just because a wall doesn't look to be load-bearing, like on a first floor, but if there's a wall above it on the second floor, then you need to brace that wall. Mm-hmm. You know, it's now become load-bearing because they're carrying the, the weight from the second floor down to the first floor. Mm-hmm. You know, and then obviously you got to check the basement and check for footings and making sure that there's support posts so that, you know, wherever you go ahead and put in, you know, your, your framing to hold the beam that yep. you know, you're going to put in to, to yep. get rid of that wall. You got to make sure down below there's something there that can transfer that weight down onto the footings. Now, there's two different kinds of beams that people could have. They could just have a regular beam that goes in. Mm-hmm. They gets either framed out with sheetrock yep. or with some trim. Yep. And then there's uh, some people want a hidden beam. Yes. And what, are the, what is the most common that you see? Uh, most people, it comes down to price. So most people will keep the beam. So it's more expensive to do a hidden beam than yes. it is to... Right, because yep. it's more involved in trying to into hiding the beam because you have to cut joists. Right, you, you have, have to, to cut, cut all the joists and then put joist hangers up. And yep, yep, yep it's a it lot in. of work. You're supporting two two ceilings on either side of the wall. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely a lot of work. Right. It's a lot of work, but it looks really nice when it's done. It looks like it's always been like that. All right, so let's let's just make up a number. So the person yep. who wants who has a kitchen and has a living room, and they're going to open that wall up. They're going to open up and they're going to put that beam in. Mm-hmm. Now, um, let's say that the footage is. 14 feet yep. or 12 feet. Let's yep. say it's 12 feet. So in that process, we want to put in a 12-foot beam. So where do you go as the contractor? Who do you talk to and to get the right size beam mm-hmm. because of the load on the house? There's a couple equations that I know you have to be, that you have to be familiar with mm-hmm. when, when, you, when you go to. Now, do you go to a lumber yard, a certain lumber yard, and say, hey, listen, uh, this is what I need. So I have I have both the lumber yard and I also have a uh, structural engineer okay. that I do work with. Right. Um, in fact, we're, I'm working with a structural engineer on one right now. We're doing a kitchen and there's um, columns in the kitchen. These big, huge columns. And the house is enormous and the kitchen's enormous. And we just don't know. We've looked at the blueprints and we just don't know how the how the beam was installed and how it's being supported and whether those columns are decorative or not. So the only way we're going to find that out is to rip open the ceiling, call the structural engineer. He's going to come over, make sure that, you know, everything is posted the way it's supposed to be before we take out those fake columns, which we're hoping are fake. We're hoping aren't load bearing. Um, so that's that's one person that I would go to if it was just simply, like you said, a 12 foot span mm-hmm. that we just need to go ahead and get a beam for. I would go to the lumber yard. But you tell now, do you have to to get the the the, the right equation of the beam, the thickness mm-hmm. of the beam, you need to know the measurement from wall to wall? Yes, definitely wall to wall, uh, wherever there's any supports down below, whatever's above you. Um, also, one thing they want to know, too, a lot of times is, is there an attic? And is it a full attic? Are there pull-down stairs? Because, uh, again, you know, you're, you're pulling down right. on, the, on the joist, the ceiling joist. So they want to know what is where. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, what else is involved in the room? And obviously if you can get, you know, th- size of your ceiling joist, that's fantastic. That's very helpful. You know, what that full span is right now. Um, you know, whether it's 30 feet going across and you're going to try to put a beam in halfway, you know, whether you're going to recess it or, or you're going to actually, you know, post it and, and let it sit below those joists. Um, so there's definitely a couple different calculations and then mm. they'll figure out, you know, then it comes down to, okay. The thickness versus the 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 width, um, you know, whether you have to go with 14-inch uh, 
uh, LVLs, or do you have to go with 16 or even bigger than that? And, you know, is it so two, the LVL, three, four just the, of them? Just the LVL, so the audience knows it's, yep. it's the kind of beam that they put in. It's called an LVL, yep. and it's made of wood. Correct, right? like a laminated wood. Yeah. It's like pieces of wood glued and laminated together over and over again. The Only- things, I mean, we did, remember the garage we did? For mm-hmm. somebody, mm-hmm. Um, we took out the the supports and we ran one twenty three feet. Yeah, you know he got rid of the supports in his garage. Yeah, um, and they're they're great. I mean, they're fantastic. Yep, but it all comes down to the loads. Yep. So, here's the question: Who's liable on that situation? Uh, without the, without without a structural engineer, if you give the right numbers, yep. to uh, the lumber yard, yeah. Do they ever want to come out and take a look at it before no. they give it? No. If you give them the measurements and this, that, the other thing, then it's all on you after that. So then I give that to the building, the building inspector. official. Yep. Mm-hmm. And say this is what the calculation was. And I've actually had one come out and look at it and said, no, that's not right. And they said, this is what we want you to do. And I ended up having to bring in a structural engineer to fix something because – what we didn't realize, and you know, shame on us. Actually, it was really our fault. Was we ran a beam up in the upstairs, and we thought it was sitting right on top of the the beam down in the basement. It was it eleven inches off? Huge difference. Huge difference. So then we had to do some special bracing, uh, certain um, fasteners that the, that the uh, structural engineer came up with, and I ran that by the building inspector, and they're like, "Fine, if he if he approves it, then that's good enough for us." So we had to make a a little change in the field because we just, we didn't pick it up. Right. That it was just 11 inches. And that's all it was. And, you know, from, uh, from your eye, just looking at it, you think, Couldn't wow, it, it looks, it looks like it's right below it. Yeah. But had we measured it like the building in- inspector did, then we would have picked it up. Caught it. Yep. Good. Sure. Yep. God bless him. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Cause I mean, that just would have caused cracks and, you know, so I got a, I got a great horror story. For okay. You. You know how much I hate modern houses. Yes. Modern buildings. Yes. Awful. <laughs> I yes. can't stand I can't yes. stand the roof lines and everything else. They just piss me off. I know. So I go to the person's house and they've had settling on the house. And I'm trying to think of it was it snow because the pitch was really it was a good pitch. Mm-hmm. But I'm like was it the snow load? Was it maybe when they roofed it of which they do which is common? Because we saw that house in Essex, oh, yeah. where they drop the bundles right on the ridge, and mm-hmm. it just pops the nails and the sheetrock and everything else. So they had settling. So I'm with a buddy of mine who's a contractor and stuff. You know, you know him, Dave. Yeah. So we go into the basement, into the crawl space, mm-hmm. and how this ever got missed, I will never know. But the load-bearing wall in this modern house was sitting in between two floor joists, not on another beam. Really? So the floor is sitting in between the two joists. It was sitting on plywood. Wow. Half inch and three quarter inch plywood. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. And it was bowing. It was sure. like sure. So that's where all the crack was up there. So I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So Dave ordered the beam, mm. brought in a steel beam. Yep. Right? Wow. So... Oh, yeah. Those are fun to put in. Well, you know, brought the guys in, got it in. So I'm thinking, the way I would think, you get the beam in, you support it, and they were going to crick it and crank it up. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, the the, the wall had sunk uh, an inch and a half. Wow. About that. So everything upstairs was cracked. Sure. Right? Yeah. That's a long way. What do you think this chichooch did? (laughs) Which one's the choo choo? No, 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 no. Dave didn't do it. The oh. beam guy did it. Yep. He freaking takes it. He just jacked it. Chuk, 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 chuk. I was not in the house when it happened. So they got it where they had to get it and they just locked it off and then they, then they supported it. Wow. And I was like, dude, all the extra work that had to get done because everything just like, Popped. I mean, oh my God. Yeah. All the corner bead was like, it was, it was like a hurricane. Pop that. Yeah. Crack the ceilings, crack the walls. Cracked all the headers over the chi rock. I was like, oh, shit. So there was just more work for me to do, but which I was supposed to be just doing the painting, but just, right. just added another four days of work. Wow. Easy. Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to do it, just so everybody knows, you're supposed to do quarter, it a quarter, quarter inch a day. Yeah, quarter, quarter inch turn. Yep, a couple of days, yep. and then go back and 
do it really slow and I know it's painful and you know, it takes a long time, but that's definitely the way to do it. Plaster and lath houses, old, oh. old houses that oh. I've done. Yeah. Uh, where I've done the turnbuckles yep. on them. I swear to, I swear to God, I will do a quarter turn. It will take me a month. Yeah. To get it where it's got to go. Yeah. And that's still pushing it. Right. Because they're plaster walls. Right. That stuff is so petrified. Yeah. You know, so, and you just tell them, listen, this is most likely going to crack. Yeah. And, that's what it is. Right. I mean, we can't stop it from cracking, but if you try to jack up an inch and a half all at one time. The house is 300 years old. That bone ain't going to move that easy, you know? Mm-hmm. So, no, it's not. So that was something. It takes time. Yeah. I I can understand the hidden beams a lot if you have, like, when you're going from the kitchen to the living room and the mm-hmm. living room has a nice wide window that's mm-hmm. looking out at a vista or the big yard. Yeah, a hidden beam, that'll be great. But if it's just normal... You know, just like a normal living room, and there's no there's no vista out in front. I would just go with the beam itself. You know what I right. mean? Because it still gives you that spacious, nice space. Right. But some people feel like it still looks like it's divided space. Right. That's what their right. That's what their concern is. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and and basically, a lot of people also can't really visualize it in their head. You know exactly what it's going to look like with the beam there. They're thinking something different. I just tell them to look over at a doorway. You know, and you see the yeah. you see the header across there is really what it is with the sheetrock on it. That's all you're really going to see. Just just take that and make it longer. Yeah. So when I tell them that, they go, "Oh, that's not bad." Yeah. Because you, you, you don't you don't you don't look at your door all the time and go, "Why doesn't it go all the way up to the ceiling?" Because yeah. it wouldn't. It just would look stupid. Yeah. You can so. put some nice molding on it, some colonial yep. molding, and it'll look great. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And a lot of people are doing the reclaimed wood. Now on the beams, you know, getting some of that old wood look. Man, what a business that is. Yeah. Oh, my God. The bank that these people are making. <laughs> bank. Yep. yep. Reclaim yep. wood. Yeah. Eight, nine, twelve dollars a foot. Oh, easily. Easily. I know. Yeah. This guy in Old Saybrook, he's just... <laughs> Oh, that guy right off the highway? Oh, my God. They have some great stuff there. Though. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, they're not cheap. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> They're not cheap. I've I've worked with them. Yeah. Uh, but very nice, very helpful, uh, great people. You know, and I just love the fact that, you know, somebody just calls them and says, hey, I got a barn I'm taking down. You want the wood? Yeah. Come get it. Yep. Boom, boom. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it, it, it looks good. You know what look I like a lot, which I want to do at my cottage? What? I love that um, uh, Louis um, Aponte, kid who's on my Facebook um Worked with him on the music video. Mm-hmm. He did it in his basement, and I've seen it before. Did the gray, uh, it's like the gray stressed look planking on mm-hmm. the wall. Oh, nice. Freaking awesome. Yeah. He did a great job with it. Looks great. That's what I want to do on my cottage in the that basement. That makes sense. I mean, that's that's a good look for a cottage in, yeah. in New Hampshire. For yeah. Sure. Just one wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With some lighting uh, yep. in front of it. Just, you know, small, like the three-inch or the, the, the yeah, the three-inch uh, LED lights. Yeah. Beam down. I think it looks sharp. That would man. look really look nice. Really neat. Yeah. yeah. Well, do that this weekend. <sighs> oh, shut up. <laughs> what else you got going Dude, on? Dude, I just need to really just chill out. I saw my grandson who I haven't seen in like in like three months. Yeah. And I love him to death, but oh my god, it's just like <laughs> he comes up to me and goes, "Poppy, okay, since I haven't seen you, I am going to ask you about twenty five questions <laughs> within about thirty seconds, and they will make they're all in random order. They yep. will make no sense, <laughs> right. but I." I demand an answer, and the questions may be repeated. Yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, it goes, okay, let's go do cannonballs. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's basically how it was. Uh, that's um, awesome, though. Yeah. Now, you haven't seen them because of the, the virus? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good You hear time. that a lot with grandparents and stuff. It's yeah. tough. That's yeah. tough. Yeah. Well, it was good to see him. It was a good time. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'm going to be... Instagram in the cottage because we're going to be doing some more work up there. Oh, good. Uh, the basement's been dug out and all that good stuff. Nice. And yeah, share it with everybody. A bunch of my buddies came up and wanted to um, – I helped them out over the COVID uh, time and they had no work. I brought them in on that job and they all worked and they were just yeah. like, you know, they got both hands on the fire for me. And they were going to come up and help. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, you we're on. Nice. Steak dinner. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Little Jameson's. Nah, none of them. No, no I, I haven't been drinking my Jameson at all. Uh oh. I know. I love Jameson, but I just right? haven't. I just haven't had. It. I just for special occasions, I guess. But I guess I've been good. Yeah. I mean, we've been you and me. We've just been working flat out. I've just been yes. 
I yes. just get home and I'm shot. I'm bringing somebody back into the office. Good. Yep. God bless you. I can't do it anymore. Dude, you can't. <laughs> you have no much. life. It's too much. You have no life. I know. I know. But, you know, this, like I tell, I tell so many customers, I'm like, this is probably one of the busier years that I can remember. I don't get it. I don't either. You know, but everybody's home and they're seeing things they want done. So I get that part. But, yeah, I thought the economy was not good, but the economy around here is fine. People are spending money. They are. I think if, you know, I'm not going to get political. I'm, not, I'm just, just going to just talk about really quick. You know, if we, we did it right here in, the, in, in New England, most of mm-hmm. us, we wore the mask. We're doing all this. And we're, I, we're economy is, we're back. We're right. doing our thing. Yep. We're doing it slow. I have to, I have to say to Lomont, he's doing a great job. He's like, as far as the whole COVID thing, mm-hmm. he's doing it slow. But we're, you know, we're, we're slow and steady. We're moving forward. Right. Everybody just got impatient down south. And look what they're, and they're shutting everything else down again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? So. And they say we're still only in the first wave. We haven't even gotten to the second wave yet. Right. So it's still going to get much worse. Right. Which is scary. Yep. yep. Very scary. You know, and kids are getting ready to start going back to school in yep. a certain amount of time. And how that's all going to work, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know either. Yeah. But um, I have to say them a. The majority of people that I've met um, with us, and I think you would probably say the same, um, just foc- yeah, focusing on home improvement. Right. You know? Yep. And everyone's been pretty much had a good attitude about all of it. Yes. Yes. So. But I've said to so many people, I can't believe how obedient the, the people of this state have been. Unbelievable. When it, comes, when it comes to the mass and everything else. I mean, they, nobody said boo. You yeah, know, you see all these protests everywhere else over the mask, and nobody here say anything. Yeah, you know, and I wear it. Co- yeah, so, yeah, a couple, know? a couple here, th- you know, get a couple people here and there. And sure, like that. sure, but the majority. Yeah, no, everyone's been really good about it. Yeah, yeah, and like you said, it seems to be going in the right direction here too. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Well, this was good. That was good. So we learned a little bit about beams. Yeah, people did out there. I sure should probably say uh, happy anniversary to my wife. Tomorrow is our twenty fifth. Really? Yeah. And I was at your you wedding. You were at my wedding. Yes, yeah. you were. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been together 28 years and uh, 25 now for, in, in, under the marriage. So that means I've known you over 30. Definitely over 30. Because when you met Tanya, you, weren't, you were single when I met you. You didn't know yes. Tanya. No, I don't think I did. No, you didn't have a girlfriend. No. No, you didn't have a girlfriend. No. Wow. Yeah, can you believe Where that? Where has the time gone? I know, I know. Man. Hey. What? Still there? Yeah, I know. I know. Where am I going now? <laughs> you go to the Caribbean. Yeah, I'm going You're going to go to an island, yeah. man. She's either coming with me or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up to her. Up right? to her. No so, shit. happy anniversary, honey. Happy anniversary, not Colin and Tanya. Not, not that she listens to the show, so she's never going to hear this. They never listen but, to the yeah, show. I know. The wives don't listen. They don't listen. No, nope. that's all right. Now, I can always go back to the tape and say, see? See, see, see how romantic I, mentioned I am? You. Yeah. I mentioned you. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Maybe we'll have the wives on for, as guests. No. One day. No. No? No. <laughs> That could be a funny episode. No, no, it won't. No, it won't. What are you, There'll you, be fights you, no. in, in less no. than a minute. Why? Why? <laughs> because you, because you know gonna... I could sit here and just you know, I just get, get you going and get, get her going. Get bashed. And, yeah, yeah. Just get bashed. That's all I want. <laughs> that could be yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, that'd yeah. be fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How about a freaking stick in your eye? That'd be fun. <laughs> That's fun too. Shut yeah. up. The show is done today. The show is I'm officially done. done. That's it. Jimmy's right. walking off. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you next All week. All right, see ya. Bye. Bye.